Welcome to the first of my videos on the reading free practice test 3. In this, I'm going to assume that you've already read the passages and struggled with them and attempts to answer the questions. And really, I'll just be highlighting the key parts of the passages and the main ideas and really talking through my thinking as I try to figure out these questions. So let's start with the first question here. What prompts the narrator to call the young eagle a foolish bird on line 8? So on line 8, let's highlight that. It's foolish bird, nearly all dead or wounded eagles found in this part of the world have bullets in them. Okay, so that's interesting that it's a context clue. It's showing that uh, the ability of humans to use tools to still inflict harm is really key. That uh, we're not just a threat by our physical presence in the near uh, proximity, but we have things that we can hurt animals, people, objects from far away. And let's go back to that question. Uh, the first one, the eagle lands on the beach instead of staying out over the water. See, that's not correct because when he sneaks up on the bird, uh, it then goes up and flaps out over the water, turns for no other look, and then lands 40 feet up in a beachside spruce. It was on the beach, but then it ends up landing up in a tree. So it cannot be uh, number one. Uh, not sorry, number one, A. Now B, the eagle does not notice the narrator until he is within 50 feet. Now that one's kind of tricky because that could mean that it's foolish, uh, but it did realize he'd be a threat on the land, so it went up in the air, and also it then lands only 40 feet away, so it's not the distance piece, but B really kind of confused me too at first. C, the eagle settles for the remains of a dead fish rather than hunting for a fresh one. All right, and there's nothing about it hunting or getting fish. So that, by elimination, leaves D. The eagle does not seem to know that even at a distance, humans pose a threat. So it went up in the tree, it's 40 feet, allowed him to walk even closer, uh, but it was no longer threatened. But he could have easily shot it right underneath the tree there. So the answer is D.